In this movie, we're going to export to Excel using a crosstab report. I'm going to go back to my start page and open up the crosstab report.rpt support file. In this case, I'm going to keep it the way it is and I'm simply going to export. From here, you have two options. You have data only and the simple 97 through 2000 XLS option. Both have merit and both have a little bit of flexibility. If you try and use the first one, the one that's highlighted now, it's going to try and format it exactly. So, let me show you what that looks like. We'll call it Crosstab 1 and we'll just save it on our desktop. Notice how the Crosstab report exported much faster. That's because instead of doing the detail level from the original report, we're actually using summarized data which cuts down their record count. Once we arrive at our desktop, we take a look at Crosstab 1. As you can see, it tried to format it, but it's kind of lacking the line formatting and the other things that kind of make it neat. It essentially gives you a grid, but then you have some extra spaces and lines and other things you may need to clean up, and then you have some merged cells. That's helpful, but not so much. But let me show you the other option. Let's go back to our crystal report, export, and this time we'll choose data only. Now, as I mentioned briefly before in the crosstab section, crosstab was originally, kept in mind, for Excel. From here, you have a little more options. You can export the object formatting or any images or use worksheet summaries for functions. I recommend just choosing Export Object Formatting and press OK. From here, we'll call it Crosstab 2 and save. Then we're going to come back to our desktop, go to our Crosstab 2, and notice it's a little cleaner. Everything lines up exactly in row and column. And I simply do a few quick adjustments in Excel, and here we go. Now, when I chose to export the formatting, it's talking about the text formatting. The boxes you'll have to work with a little bit. For example, we go to Format Text, and we go to Border, and we say, show me a single line, a single line, single line, and single line. Now I have a single line on left, right, top, and bottom. I could also choose a drop shadow if I felt like it. I could also choose the background color to be, we'll go ahead and make it silver, and press OK. That happens to all my total lines. When I export, to data only again, and I choose export object formatting, and I press OK, and we'll call it cross tab 3, and press save, you get to see what happens. Here's our cross tab 3. Notice while it did export my text and my box formatting, it didn't do anything for my grid. The grid in a cross tab, when it exports to Excel, is essentially ignored. It lines it up correctly, but there's no real formatting that can be applied. Any formatting must be applied in Excel itself. Cross tabs are meant to be kind of simple data dumps that summarize data quickly and just throw it out there for you to have immediately. They didn't really give a whole lot of thought to the format. So while you do have a lot of print format options, or export to PDF options, when you export to Excel, your options are very limited. I encourage you to kind of play around with the exports with the cross tabs. You can probably come up with something fairly quick. You'd probably still end up doing a little bit of work in Excel, but not too much as it, let's say, a raw data dump. Now let's try the same thing with our newly found format and export it to the first export option, the one that is not data only. From here you can choose to show the grid lines and press OK. And we'll call this cross tab 4. It's going to go off and do its thing. It finishes fairly quickly. And let's go ahead to our desktop and open up cross tab 4. Notice how it is now showing my grid lines and it also allows me to export the grid lines I've chosen to highlight for my total section. It'll also work for all the fields you choose to highlight. These are one of the things you kinda have to play around with and go through the pros and cons. Now you do have a lot of merged cells here but if you show the grid lines or highlight the ones you want to highlight you can make a pretty decent report straight into Excel. But if you wanted to slice and dice and sort and organize, the extra formatting doesn't really help you. Again, it's going to come down to the design of the report and what your needs are.